Welcome back to DJ Joman channel, the best channel for DJ content. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update firmware and drivers for all Pioneer devices. So keep watching and don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time visiting this channel. Also, don't forget to like this video. Now let's start. First, open your browser and search for Pioneer DJ. When you reach this page, click on Software and Firmware Updates. Here you'll see Software and Firmware Updates. This is where you'll find new updates for your Pioneer devices. Click on this sign to learn more about your device and if there are any new updates for firmware, software or drivers. I'll also I will show you in this video how to check if your device is currently updated or not. But before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time visiting this channel. Also, don't forget to like this video. Let's check the DJMS11. As you can see, the last firmware update was on July 20th, 2023. Next, let me check the DDJ Rev 7. Here you can see there are new updates for firmware and drivers. Click here to open the link for the update. Make sure you're on the right page for your device. Let's start with the firmware update. In this update, you can now use Rekordbox DJ software without any problems, and there are improvements for using Serato stems. You can see the file name and size here, which is specifically for Windows users. For Mac users, scroll down here. For driver updates, the file is found here, and you can read about what's new in this update here. It's better to update your device drivers to ensure they work better with your computer. This is the driver update for Windows users. To download, click this link here and it will start automatically. After the download is completed, browse to the saved folder location, then find the name of the file you downloaded. Since the file is a zip, you need to extract it. You can use WinRR or any software that can extract zip files without causing any damage. After that, open the extracted folder until you find this file. Now it's time to connect your device to your computer. Make sure no DJ software is running on your computer, meaning close all DJ software before proceeding. After connecting your Pioneer DJ device or hardware, double click on this file. If you see this error, it means your hardware or DJ device is not properly connected, or you're using a different file that doesn't match your connected device. So reconnect your device or change the USB port. Let me tell you how you can know if your device is currently updated or not. 
As you can see on this screen, this is my previous video on how to update firmware for DDJ SB3. Here you can see the firmware version information on your device, and here is the new version you want to install. If these numbers match or look the same, it means your device has the latest version. So, no need to update. But if the update version has a greater number than the current version, you need to make the update, so click Start. When you reach this process, it means your device is now currently updated. Click OK. In the next video, I will show you how to update drivers. Let me know in the comments below if you encounter any errors while following this video. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. See you next time.